the Wolf Pack is gathering and starting to howl when Carter Fay NC State go to work. Today we have a top 25 matchup on hand with the team team in the country, the Tennessee Volunteers, taking on the 22nd ranked team in the land, the NC State Wolf Pack. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse. We'll kick it away to start. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. So the NC State Wolfpack offense is on the field and ready to start the game. And here he is, one of the best receivers in the game, and he just commands attention both from the defense and from the fans. Yeah, he's a guy you got to keep your eye on, and you're going to see him line up all over the field in this game. He can play in the slot, he can play out wide, he can run the entire gamut in the route tree as well. Really nothing this guy can't do. Solid pickup of four on first down, it's second and six. He'll do it himself. And he's got enough for the first down, it'll be at the 35. Ooh, I like that option play. I'd keep running that, too, because it's obvious. The defense right now is really keying in on this running back. That was a big point of emphasis for them all week long in practice, and it's opening up holes now for the quarterback to run. They'll snap it on first down from the 35. Running behind that left side. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job on the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Wide receiver shows motion. Wants to throw. It's McCall. Makes his connection. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. Knowing that your man can make the catch against his defender, that wasn't a big play, but it can set you up down the line to be able to take advantage. Yes, get it to him as fast as I can. When I see him open, he runs the little pitch, get it to him so he can make a little bit of yards after the catch, and eventually that little gain, he's going to bust one of those with his athletic ability. NC State will pick up the first down. North. Oh, it's a reverse. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. What a great job by the backside of the defense staying home. A lot of time the run looks like it's going the other direction. What happens? You start to chase. Nope. These guys stayed home and played their assignment, and that's why they had success. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. Using his legs, it's Waters. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. The seventh play of this opening drive will be a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Takes a hit as he fires. He took a hit as he threw it and couldn't deliver the football. It's incomplete and fourth down's coming. Well, they try to throw for it there on third down on the opening drive of the game. They don't get it, but let's punt the ball away. Let's trust our defense. And, guys, let's Number also nine. trust this home oh, field advantage away. and the crowd to get loud and make it real difficult on our opponent. Looking for a block. It's white. And he's going to get it up to about the 29-yard line before he's brought down. So Tennessee's offense will go to work for the first time. When a guy gets off the ball as quickly as he does, you know he's going to be breathing down your neck, and you've got to get rid of it, Jesse. This quarterback's good, but he better have a clock going off in his head. He knows he's not going to have a lot of time to get rid of the football. It's a big matchup in this game. Well, and that's what I love about this guy, because he affects the quarterback whether he gets to him or not. He knows he's there. He's that kind of good coming off the edge. Let's see how this QB performs under pressure. 
And the Volunteers moving quickly to the line. Off the play fake on first down. Looking to the big tight end. And he drops it. Just took his eye off of it at the last minute. Man, he was open. He had an opportunity. He just got to look that thing. A lot of times guys are catching it, and as they're catching it, you see their head start to turn to try to think about getting up field, and they just lose that concentration for a second. A little missed opportunity there for this offense. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. They wrestle him to the ground, but he's got plenty for a first down. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. This crowd trying to make life miserable for this offense. They're getting this guy lathered up. He showed it all there. A little elusiveness, a little power, and he's got the first down. Tennessee loves relying on the big physical backs like a Jamal Lewis, and this guy fits the mold. Man, guys you just didn't want to tackle. I mean, guys that run angry all the time, and it's just, it's a mindset. When, when Tennessee has that mindset, the fans go crazy, and their teams are usually their best squads. Trying to find his man on first down. Got his man quickly. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands. Get it to your playmaker. A lot of times they'll dance and make even bigger plays than they did here. But it's still a positive game. And here comes the offense on second down. They'll go to the ground. They make the stop after a pickup of three balls at the 18. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically beat the challenge. Third down, and this crowd is tearing the lid up. Here comes the option. They were all over him, nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. Here comes the field goal unit as they'll try to get the three. They pick the spot. It's going to be about a 37-yard attempt. It is perfect. And the first points of the day come on that field goal. I'll tell you, this is not an easy place to play on the road, especially at nighttime. This crowd, they get loud. That's the way it's been so far, but they have a nice drive to open it up. They're able to execute. They put themselves in field goal range, knock it through the uprights. They did exactly what they needed to do, taking a 3-0 lead here early on the road. That's impressive. After putting up a three-spot, the kickoff unit set to go. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. NC State sending the offense back onto the field. From the gun, the ground game. They'll knock him down after a pickup of one to the 18. Run game is good. Balance is good. Now listen, if the run game isn't good, then you got to pass the football a little bit more. But sometimes you got to keep them honest, take them chunk by chunk. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Leaves it with the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. You know, the runner just has to have a little bit more patience. He bounced that thing outside a little too early, and as a result, lost yards. They punted on their first drive of the game, and now they have to convert on third down to avoid doing it again. Looking to throw, it's McCall. And they can't make the play on third down. Well, the quarterback and his intended target just simply didn't have the timing there. The ball falls incomplete on third, now setting up fourth down. NC 
NC State to bring the punt team onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He gets a block. He was hoping for a little more running room, but they're able to get him down at the 45. The volunteer offense is back, and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. They've got the lead here. Last time they settled for a field goal, but David got to find that balance between being aggressive and careful. Man, I think they'll take that. I got the lead, Palmer. I got the football. I got to take care of the football, put a nice drive together, and just get some kind of points on this drive. No doubt. Lots to be happy about right now if you're this team. I think for this one, though, on this drive, it's about finding the one-on-one -on -one matchups that are in your favor and then exploiting them. The give to the back. They make the stop after a pickup of three just inside the red zone at the 19. The Volunteers in the hurry up. On second down, wants to throw it. Touchdown, Tennessee! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. This offense is so explosive, they can change the scoreboard in a flash. You just saw that on that drive. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the capper a 19-yard toss for the touchdown. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. Set to kick this one away. North Carolina State has it back in the offense, headed to the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Palmer. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. A negative play to open the drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. Hand off from the gun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, they're just trying to run the ball, but that time there was absolutely nowhere for the running back to go, and as a result, that's a tackle for loss. That's the end of the quarter, and Tennessee has the lead. Really strong performance so far to be able to build a lead here in the first period as we look at the stats. On third and long, doesn't need to take the check down. And the pass is intercepted. And he's going to run it all the way back. Touchdown, Volunteers! Look, I know it's only the second quarter, but we're starting to see a pretty significant gap develop between these two teams right now. No doubt. When your defense is scoring, your offense is scoring, good things happening for your ball club. This defense on point, reading their scouting report, making big plays. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they now have a three-possession lead at 17. That makes the score Tennessee 17. They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. He'll bring it out. It's Grimes. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. NC State sending the offense back onto the field. 
They've got nothing done so far, and they already find themselves in a three-possession hole, Jesse. Yeah, and as a head coach, you're wondering, what didn't I say? What didn't I do to get my team ready to go? Because we look like we're sleepwalking at this point, Dave. Yeah, nothing went well in the first quarter. You just say refresh. Like, let's try to find a way now, ship into this lead, try to make it somewhat manageable when you get to the half. He'll pull it on the read. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. I don't think the quarterback made the right read on that play. I know they're asking a lot of this QB. He's got a lot to focus on with the pass game and all the different types of runs that they have in their playbook. But on that play there, that pre-snap look told me to hand it off. NC State quick to the line. Back to pass, it's McCall. And the pressure gets him back at the eight-yard line. The defense coming up big there, and the sack is great, but the secondary deserves some credit, too. No doubt. When you can cover like that in the secondary and drop back in your zone and only rush a few, and you feel comfortable getting home, and they're going to get to the quarterback, that is a great feeling, and that's fun to be a defensive coordinator calling the plays. The Wolfpack will have to bring the punt team onto the field. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. He gets it away from his own end zone. He'll call for the fair catch here. Tennessee ready to go to work the big orange offense on the field. They'll run it from the gun. And a nice solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and four. The give out of the gun. Brought down at the 32-yard line. Picks up 15 yards on the play and an important first down. It is a maxim of Tennessee football that you must be physical. Physical. It's, it's just the kind of people they are, right? Tennessee people are physical. They want to do the dirty work. They're willing to do the dirty work. And you love it when your team has a bunch of grinders, a bunch of physical guys, a bunch of blue-collar guys that want to work. Going with the ground game left. Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks with a first down. First down, physicality wins football games. Being able to run the football and create balance, and, and right here just chews up another first down, gives you another chance to maybe continue to run the football. And I feel like this guy, too, is just an explosive play waiting to happen. His vision, his quickness, and he's got a burst. If you give this guy just a crease, he's going to hit it, and right now he's doing some damage on his defense. And they'll bring him down after a short pickup. That's a nice job by this defense. Understand, listen, that QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options. And he's going to run the football. They were dialed in. He got that side of the ground. Tempo and overdrive. They're going to test the right side with this one. Couldn't fight his way out of his grasp. You gotta have that defense you know you can go to in running situations. Your base defense where you say, okay, this is where I'm gonna start, and I'm gonna stop the run, stuff it up front. My guys play big up front. And then if I need to add some blitzes to it later on down the road, I can. But great job in the base defense making a play. Back to throw. It's Iamaleava. He'll take a shot. Throw to the end zone. It's picked off. Well, I love the job by the coaching staff there defensively, matching the personnel of the offense, putting their dime package out on the field. So you bring out the extra defensive back, you're anticipating a pass. Perfect timing to run that personnel, and you get the pick. State has it back in the offense, headed to the field. 
they just haven't been able to get anything going, and they better get started or it's going to get away from them, David. Yeah, and these are the weeks that you really wish that you were playing a video game, and you could just reset the console, start over, Jesse, and make something better happen early. They just look like they're sleepwalking in this first half, and it's not just one guy. They, they just haven't been playing collectively as a unit. And if I'm the head coach, I'm considering starting to give some other dudes some chances here. And there were no creases or crevices to run through, and they shove him out of bounds. And runs like that are like body blows in a boxing match. Four, five, six-yard gains early turn into 20, 30, 40-yard gains later. They really wear down defenses, and they test their physicality. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 25. It's a draw. He's able to fight his way for a couple of yards, but it'll be fourth down and three. And sticking to the run. I tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football, you can tell. Looks as if NC State will have to punt it away. He'll try to really get into this one. And you make the stop, and that is exactly what you want out of your punt cover unit. The volunteer offense is back, and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. Fires on the move. Makes the grab. Really nice pickup there as they have it out to the 44 with the first down. That's a pretty impressive throw, man. That's given me Peyton Manning to Peerless Price memories back when I was watching them, playing against them in college that was a thing of beauty right there there's a nice chemistry that this quarterback has with his group of wide receivers and you see that in the timing of these throws to the air on first down and it's incomplete if you're going to take a hit like that you might as well hang on to the ball well, the defense was obviously ready for that play. they've obviously been watching film they know that that pass play is one of the bread and butter plays this offense has so nice job defending the incompletion brings us to second and ten. The handoff as they run the counter play here. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. The Vols are in the hurry up. To throw it's Iamaleava throws to the wideout pulls it in and a big time grab there knocked down immediately but not before he gets it to the 40 these two guys just on the same wavelength they make clutch connections all the time and that's practice man that's all summer that's all spring just so many hundreds and hundreds and thousands of balls where you know exactly when that guy's gonna break you know he's a stud. You're going to feed him, especially on these third down situations. A shot toward the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown ball. Touchdown. Quarterbacks love receivers that can get separation, but that amount of separation uh, is a little... ...on the sidelines and talk about what just happened because that was an absolute busted coverage on the back end. Defense can't keep playing like that. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And the score comes on a pass from 40 yards out. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. NC State sending the offense back onto the field. 
They face a pretty tall mountain here, Jesse, down 24, but if they're going to climb it, this is a good time to start. Sense of urgency has got to be big right here. You just get the feeling at this point of the game, David. They've got to score on this drive. Obviously, their defense needs to get stops, but at this point, offensively, they've got to execute much better. They, they got to be super aggressive. Down 24, you're going to need three touchdowns, three two-point conversions, everything to kind of go your way. So fast and throw in the football. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. Offense gets set for second down. Dropping back, it's McCall. Lost one deep down the right side. And the pass is incomplete and charged loose by the hit. Got to give the defense a lot of credit, man, because they've come into this hostile environment and they've quieted the crowd down with some of the plays they're making. They've got a nice lead right here, and they're making it hard for this quarterback to go to work. When you've already sent your punter out four times, at least he knows he's going to get his varsity letter, and his leg might get a bigger workout if they don't convert. Picks up just a few before he's brought down. Not really willing to take a risk there on third and long. The Wolfpack will line up to punt it away. They'll look to pin him deep. A fair catch called for and made. Looking for a productive play on first down. He wants to throw. Unloads to the wideout. And the ball is intercepted. Even with minimal gain on the return, they're working with a short field from the 36. This is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job of his decision. North Carolina State has it back on the offense, headed to the field. They find themselves in a pretty deep hole here, but maybe a chance to grab a little momentum and regroup at halftime. Yeah, a big chance. Like, this is, this is an opportunity. This is the biggest opportunity in front of them in the game right now. you got to get some points on the board. you got to create something positive, Jesse. There hasn't been a whole lot to be positive about in the first half. If I'm playing quarterback, I'm locating my go-to guy at receiver. Who can I count on one-on-one -on -one to go and make me a play? Maybe even one-on-two. -on -two. Who can go up, catch the ball, get us some yards, and get us some points? Back to pass. It's McCall. Makes the grab. Takes it to the house. Touchdown, Wolfpack. Man, nice job getting the passing game going. This, this is big, man. Going to the half. And listen, I know you're trailing, but building some momentum. Maybe this second half, we keep airing the football out, cutting into this deficit, and who knows what the heck will happen. Lining up for the PAT. And after the extra point, they're now down 24 to 7. Aggressive play calling on that drive. Just two plays, they get the long touchdown pass to pay it off. The lead is 17 as they try to fight their way back in. They'll need a stop on this possession, about to kick it off here. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And the return man reaches the end of the line, and down he goes. Tennessee ready to go to work the big orange offense on the field. Well, the good news about this drive, Jesse, it can't go worse than last time through a pick on the first play. No, it certainly can't. I think one good way, David, to help your quarterback turn the page is just find him an easy completion here and let him get back into a rhythm. Yeah, or find him an easy handoff. Just hand the football off, maybe get the ground game going, maybe jumpstart this offense a little bit. Now you got to think they'll really go on the attack. Big play has him set up first and 10 from the 48. Makes the grab. It's Thornton. Lots of green grass as he gets it to the 31. Well, this defense is being challenged, and this secondary in particular. And I know a DB made the tackle there, but we're only in the second quarter. And already, this quarterback has over 200 yards passing. Offense picking up steam, first and ten from the 31. 
looking to move it through the air. On target to the left. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. How many first downs is that, guys? On this drive alone, this defense has got to find a way to get off the field. They're playing way too many snaps. And the Vols will snap it on first and ten. From the red zone, looking for a space. It's caught downfield. The tackle is made, but he's got it first and goal from the six. Quick timeout from the offense to save precious seconds. This offense is clicking, and clearly everything is working. The offensive coordinator is calling good plays. The quarterback and his unit is executing. In this defense right now, they have no answers. And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. And here on second down, they'll send out the field goal unit to try to get three before the break. And he's already made one. The holder will put it down at the 26 for a 36-yard try. Splits the uprights. Good. And now the lead is extended a little far. That late in the half field goal always gives you a little boost going to the locker room, and they'll need to finish off these final few seconds and not allow them to answer. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10, and they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. NC State will kick off to start things here in the second half. Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The volunteer offense is back, and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Wide open downfield. And the tackle is made, but not before. That completion gets him 30-plus. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play. And you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. That big explosive play carries them into plus territory. They'll snap it first and 10 from just across the 50. He'll keep it himself. Runs through the tackle. Ripping through the defense and getting it all. That's in college football, and that's why the option's a good idea. Because if he can get out in space and he has a chance to get downfield, he is really difficult to tackle, and he's very difficult to catch, as you saw in that last play, getting a first down. Inside the 25, they'll snap it from the 24. First down. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. And a nice job by the running back finding space, getting downhill, making a good run. Great job finishing with the pass. Eight yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and short. The back goes in motion. Dropping back, it's Ian Maleava. Got his man out of the backfield. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. You know, this linebacker is a special player because not only is he good making tackles in the open field, this guy can cover. And you saw a great example of it with that running back. All wide outs, no backs. Snap from the gun on third down. Grab near the sticks. It's Thornton. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. And how about that third down? They go five wide. They've spread the defense out. And at quarterback there, you're just trying to find your best one-on-one -on -one matchup. You're making a quick throw, and you're picking up the first to keep the drive going. The analytics nerds say the goal was at least four yards on first. And he throws another interception, his third one of the night. 
And he's brought down, and his defense gets the ball back for its own. I love when people start to understand what we're doing defensively. If they're going to pass the football and that's where they're going to live, well, I'm going to live and die. I'm going to bring more defensive backs on the field so I can cover more of these speed guys that they have out there. Great job by the defensive back, breaking on the football, making the INT, making the DC look very small. NC State sending the offense back onto the field. The give to the running back from the shotgun. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. Give to the running back. Pushes ahead for two. They'll mark it at the 17. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays. But sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it. And now it's just going to be a passing game. On the option, you'll pitch it. And they just didn't get anybody on that defense out of position, and they will lose yardage on that one. Linebackers have such an amazing responsibility. Got to play run, got to play pass. How about this? Seeing the run aggressively, getting downhill, and getting in the backfield and making the tackle for a loss. NC State to bring the punt team onto the field. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. Slips through the line. Excellent coverage that time. Didn't give him any room to set up a big return. Tennessee ready to go to work the big orange offense on the field. Quick completion on the slant. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. And this big orange offense getting it done in the passing game. And great execution by the quarterback. And when you think about Tennessee offense, man, when they got their trigger man, and they've had some great ones, Peyton Manning, T. Martin, Hinton Hooker had an unbelievable run. They find that guy, man, their offenses have been so hard to stop. Going for it all. Touchdown, Tennessee! And the pummeling has started. That's number two on the day, having a day. I mean, you know he's going to catch the football, and you know he's going to make plays after he catches. Those are the kind of guys that you feature, and you find them, and they produce like this. You keep finding them. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. This offense prides itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. He leaves it with his back. Knocked down after picking up five out to the 24. I, I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make them honor the run. Make them know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. To the ground with the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, there's just nowhere to go for the runner on that last play. Just way too much penetration up front, and as a result, they lose yardage. Offense breaks the huddle. It's third down. Looking to throw, it's McCall. Quick strike complete. Now they'll really try to get this drive going. Good execution on third down as they have it first and 10 at the 31. 
Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. Quarterback on the keep. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. I'll tell you, this is a hard defense to run against if you're going to go sideline to sideline because of that guy's speed at linebacker. He can get all the way to the perimeter, chase the quarterback down on the option, and make the tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Impressive. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. A beautifully placed ball to the outside in the toe drag for the big pickup. Well, when you're throwing these comeback routes, man, the timing has got to be so good between the two of them because you know the ball is going to be in the air a long time. You can't throw it late. It's going to get picked. That time, really nice job getting it out early and the receiver doing a nice job on his route so that the ball was right on him as soon as he turned around. Wants to throw on first down. Caught in the backfield. It's Concepcion. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. And you don't see that often when you're running a screen and you're featuring the running back and setting it up, but you go elsewhere. It's a nice job by the offense, nice job by the quarterback in particular, seeing the defense, saying, I can make a play somewhere else, and he goes and does it. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. Keeps the legs moving. And he has a solid gain before the defense bottles him up. I think you run that play so you stay out of third and long. Third and long is not where an offense ever wants to thrive. Third and medium, hey, I'm good with that. So you run that play to make sure you're set up for a good third down. They've been able to control the ball. This is the seventh play of the drive. It's third and three. To the air, it's McCall. Pressure coming. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. And it's been a long day. I mean, I, there's not much to point out that this offense has done well. They're behind huge, and they got no shot if they can't somehow find a way to protect their quarterback. The Wolfpack will have to bring the punt team onto the field. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines, not his best work. The volunteer offense is back, and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. Off play action on first down. And the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. Pass success has a lot to do with selling that thing. You could tell defense was not buying it, got in the backfield, got the big play. Now on second down. That's the end of the quarter, and Tennessee has the lead. And they've built a comfortable lead after three quarters of play. Let's take a look at how we've gotten here. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and leading the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. It'll be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. On third and long, you'll need to push it downfield. He's got it down the left side. Hit the gas, kid, wide open ahead. Touchdown, Volunteers! And the stomping has commenced. And this defense is just getting squeezed by the big orange, and he's cutting him up like Peyton Manning. Man, no answers. I mean, he's really had his way. They haven't made him feel uncomfortable. If I'm a Vols fan, I'm jacked up that I got this guy at quarterback because he's showing he can put up some big numbers. Ready to try the point the after. Is on for the extra point. 
The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they could not have finished with more style. And 86 there about ready to go. Coming out with it, it's Grimes. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. North Carolina State has it back in the offense, headed to the field. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start. Got a lot of running room. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game. But trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. Caught over the middle. It's Rodgers. And perhaps a touchdown saving tackle as he gets him down at the 37. Yeah, and David, you just wonder at this point, is it just too little too late? This is one of their best playmakers offensively, but they just haven't been able to get him going in this game. Big reason why they're losing. Yeah, and the defense has done a great job understanding that. I got to take that guy away. That's priority number one. Understand it. Late in the game now, up by multiple scores, I'm playing my defense a little bit different. Can't give up the big plays. Time is on my side. And it's just been that kind of day for this quarterback in this offense, guys. They have never been able to get into a rhythm throwing the football. Timing's been off. Accuracy hasn't been great. We've seen some drops. Just not in sync, and that's why they find themselves trailing by a lot right here late in the game. Second and ten, he'll throw again. Can't hang on, it's incomplete, and you can't worry about the footsteps when you're running those crossing routes. It'll be third down. Well, a lot of things haven't gone right for him. He saw an incompletion right there. It's been offense, it's been defense. They just haven't been able to click and get into a rhythm here, and now they're playing catch-up, and you know they're going to be throwing at each and every play here in the fourth quarter. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. That is just a sideline credit. Throw, catch, toe drag, everything you want. NC State at the line with the first and ten. From the red zone, he's going to throw it. Going for six. And they will score. Touchdown, NC State! Yeah, nice pitch, nice catch. And listen, maybe this helps next game, right? Like, we're trying to find a rhythm, find something that works, find somebody to go to. And this offense is struggling. They're down by a 1,000. But I like that they continue to fight. PAT unit on the field. Splits those uprights right in half. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And the finisher, an 18-yard touchdown throw. They're lining up to boot it away. Number nine sets to kick this one away. On the run from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Tennessee ready to go to work the big orange offense on the field. This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. And it's been great execution. They've done exactly what they've wanted to do. Build the lead. Now Palmer's a different animal. Now you got to protect him. You can tell they were paying attention in practice this week in the film room because they have gone out, everybody right now, on the same page. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Throws to the wideout. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? Well, I know that one fell incomplete, but what a day this guy has had throwing the football. Multiple touchdowns, and he's done a really nice job with his decision-making. Hasn't thrown any picks, which has really helped keep this offense on schedule. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Looking to move the chains. They throw it complete to the left. And 
the Volunteers will call on their punt team. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. They'll put a stop to that return at about the 37-yard line. NC State sending the offense back onto the field. He wants to start this drive with a pass. Good job to avoid the negative play and just get rid of that thing. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here. With a big lead in the game, you're putting extra DBs on the field, knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover guys on the field, and they force an incompletion on the last one. Back to the line after the incompletion. Second and 10 from the 37. They're bringing heat. They've made third down offense a key. It'll be tested on third and long from the 28. To the air, it's McCall. Unloads to the wideout. Right on the money to the outside. He dragged the toe, and how about the ball placement? Only the receiver could get it. Well, I think on that play, you saw why this guy's such a big weapon in this offense. At receiver, he does such a nice job with his routes. He's patient, and he's consistent, and he's got good hands. You don't see him put a lot of balls on the ground. Nice job there picking up the first down. They'll throw it on first down. Got a man. It's Concepcion. All down at the 38-yard line, and a big pickup of 15 yards there. And that's just a great individual effort by the wide receiver. He catches this ball way short of the sticks, but because he's able to make the defender miss, now he's able to get the extra yards and turn that into an explosive play. NC State on the move, set up with another first down. He's going to pass. Looking for a big play. And the DB making a huge play, knocking it away downfield. This defense has just been all over this guy all game long, under pressure. They're finding a way to get to him and affect his rhythm. Of course, they have an interception in this game. That's why they've got a big lead here in the fourth quarter. This guy has never gotten into a rhythm. The incomplete pass leaves him with second down. They keep attacking through the air. Got it in the middle, it's Grimes. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. And I love when you understand when I'm supposed to put some RPMs on that football. You could tell he's thrown over the middle of the field. He knows he's got defenders there. I got to throw this thing in there quick, fast, in a hurry. Nice job by the quarterback. The RPO, it's complete. They get it down to the seven on that pass play in prime position for a score. Great job by the quarterback there. He saw the safety bite on the run fake. So as the safety comes running downhill, he now knows he has the slant throw to his receiver on the outside. Going to work on second down in the red zone and still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. On the ground, it's Waters. They bring him down and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, the offensive line had everybody blocked except the defensive end. He was able to sneak into the backfield and get the tackle for loss. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Looking to pass. It's McCall. He's got it on the move. He steps out of bounds, but it'll be enough to give them a first and goal. When you're a playmaker like this guy is, your coaches are going to dial up plays intended for you, especially on third down. That's what you saw in that last play. There was no question where the quarterback was going with that football. All week long, they decided on the biggest downs of this game, we're going to target our best player. And we're going to... Touchdown, Wolfpack! Reeled it in and just made the house call. Like a Thanksgiving turkey. They're just being caught no shot. They have no idea how to get in this quarterback's head. He's on fire. Everything he's doing is working defensively. we got to figure something out. we got to try to do something a little bit different. Bring more pressure. At this right shoot, he's on so much fire, you might as well just send everybody. Blitz everybody. Live with the results because everything else ain't working anyways. They'll try to tack one more on their score. Bang! 
bangs it through for an extra point. So it's a 73-yard touchdown drive, and they punctuated it with a five-yard touchdown run. The deficit is huge. This one is all but over. They'll keep trying and line up for the onside kick. He's able to grab the football, and the hands team gets the job done. The volunteer offense is back, and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. After a punt on their last possession, they are set up in plus territory this time. And honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if they scored a touchdown their last possession. You've got to be able to turn the page and see this is a brand new opportunity to go get points. Yeah, and your defense has set you up for the position to get points right away. Now, let's get this offense back rolling again, create some momentum, just get a few first downs, and I'm in scoring position. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They'll run it, trying to drain time off the clock. Knocked down at the 35 after a pickup of three. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? Looking downfield, it's Iamaleyava. It's complete. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. And now he's in the 400 club, 4-0-0. That's a pretty good day at the office when you're putting up over 400 yards. This defense hadn't had a lot of answers. Out of the gun, the inside handoff looking for a crease. Got some room, headed to the goal line. Touchdown, balls! And the beatdown has ensued. Number six. Man, what a nice touchdown run, and this is a team effort, right? It's got to start with the offensive line to give you that crease, and then the wide receivers start to kick in, and the running back, he handles the rest. Nice touchdown run. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And the finisher came on a terrific 24-yard run to the house. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. North Carolina State has it back in the offense, headed to the field. It has been a rather forgettable day that's finally coming to a close, David. Yeah, it's been an awful day. I mean, just not, not functioning well on offense. Defense giving up a lot of points. This is a day, Palmer, they'll like to forget. Yeah, you're going to find out a lot about their character right now. Obviously, not what they hoped this would be. And that's demoralizing for a lot of these kids that have worked really hard in practice all week. But at this point here, you're just trying to prove to your coaching staff that you're not going to quit. He wants to throw here on second down. Complete downfield. And he was loose and not stopped until he gets to the 47-yard line. And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. It. Nice job between those two. The offense will put it in play from the 47 on first and 10. Using the quick game. And they'll shove him out of bounds after the short game. And this game is obviously out of hand. Man, but I think the fans would argue, too, at this point, like, all right, well, let's not throw check downs, right? Let's throw some deep balls and continue to open up this offense and keep fighting. I think that's what you want to see. You want to see your squad not quit. Keep fighting until the very end of the football game. They want to just keep throwing it. Find space on the right. And this offense is feeling it as they rip off a big chunk of yardage and they've got it on the 22. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. NC State with the first and 10 here. Snagged in the middle. It's Collins. And listen, the defense playing really conservative, right? You got the lead, but here's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get sacks. I got to get to the quarterback. Like, I got to make sure I'm getting him, knocking him off the spot. 
padding my stats, by the way. Got a lot of sacks late in games and we had a big lead, but that's okay. That's what you're supposed to do. Keep competing, defense. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Scanning the field, it's McCall. Looking to the end zone. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. And this defense has put a game together. Like, it is hard to put all the facets of defense together. Run defense, pass defense. They've been so good, man. Dialed in. You could tell they were ready. They were fast. They were physical. They dominated this football game today. Wants to throw on third. Let's it fly. And good coverage and better hands by the defender to knock it down in the end zone. And this is just one of those days, man, where everything has gone wrong, right? Like, they just haven't been in a rhythm. They haven't, they haven't got it going and never built the momentum. This is, this is one of those days that you learn from, you try to grow from. A lot of things that we're going to show in the film room that people aren't going to like, but hopefully you can learn from it and do better next time. He's not going to get there. Stop short on fourth down. On first down, here comes this offense. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. You'll take this every time, five yards on the first down play. And this is exactly where you want to be as an offensive player. Like when you've got the lead late in the football game, just run the football, keep the clock. Man, they put a good day together. They, they, they have had a, they've had their way with this defense. A lot of positive things to point to. This is one of those weeks when you watch tape, it's going to be really fun to watch it. Not like when you get beat up. A lot of big plays from this offense.